Okay, so question four asks, what is a concentration gradient? So this is when the concentration of particles is higher in one area than another. Okay, so an example of concentration gradient would be like passive transport. So passive transport uh, takes place in like our bodies. Basically, this is when particles diffuse from a high concentrations to low concentrations. And this happens until it is evenly spread out. So let's have, let's try to draw out a diagram of passive transport. This is like supposed to be a membrane. This kind of is like the pump. And let's say the left side has a high concentration of sodium ions. And the right side only has a few concentration of sodium ions. So what happens is that these sodium particles want to diffuse. Since there's such a high concentration on the left side, they want to move over and go on to the right side. So now I'll just kind of draw what this will look like after. So this happens until they're all evenly spread out. So this is an example of like a concentration gradient. Uh, let's see what the junior tutor said. Concentration gradient occurs when the concentration of particles changes over a distance. For example, a few drops of food dye in a glass of water diffuse along the, with the concentration from where the dye exists in its highest concentration, for instance, the brightest blue or red, where it occurs at its lowest concentration, where the water is still clear. 
the diffusion will continue until the concentration of the dye becomes uniform in all directions of the water. Concentration gradients are the chemical driving force behind many processes that take place near cell membranes. Yep, so this solution is correct. Thank <laughs> you.